A man and a woman are having dinner at a very fine restaurant. Their waiter is taking another order at a table just a few feet away when he notices that the man was slowly sliding down his chair and under the table with the woman acting unconcerned. The waiter watches as the man slides all the way down his chair and out of sight under the table. Still, the woman dining across from him appears calm and unruffled apparently completely unaware that her dining companion had disappeared. After the waiter finishes taking the order, he comes over to the table and says, Pardon me, ma'am, but I think your husband just slid under the table. The woman calmly looks up at him and replies, No, he didn't. He just walked in the door. <laughs> Two little boys walk into a drugstore. One is nine years old and the other is four. The oldest boy grabs a box of tampons from the shelf and carries it to the register for checkout. The cashier asks, Oh, these must be for your mom. The boy replies, No, nope, not for my mom. The cashier says, Well, they must be for your sister then? The boy replies, No, nope, not for my sister either. The cashier has now become curious. Oh, not for your mom and not for your sister? Then who are they for? The boy replies, They're for my little brother. The cashier is surprised. Your little brother? The boy explains, Well, yeah. They say on TV, if you wear one of these, you can swim or ride a bike. And my little brother can't do either of those things. <laughs> Larry is 75 years old and has played golf every day since his retirement 15 years ago. One day, he arrives home looking downcast. That's it, he tells his wife. I'm giving up golf. My eyesight has become so bad that once I hit the ball, I can't see where it landed. His wife sympathizes with him and makes him a cup of tea. As they sit down, she suggests, Why don't you take my brother with you next time? Oh, that's no good, Larry sighs. Your brother is 85. He can't help. He may be 85, says his wife, but his eyesight is perfect. So the next day, Larry heads off to the golf course with his brother-in-law. He tees up, takes a mighty swing, and squints down the fairway. He turns to his brother-in-law and asks, Did you see where the ball went? Of course I did, answers his brother-in-law. I have perfect eyesight. Well, where did it go? Larry asks. His brother-in-law replies, I don't remember. <laughs> a man is dining alone at a fancy restaurant while a beautiful brunette is sitting at the next table. He's been secretly checking her out ever since he arrived, but doesn't have the courage to start talking to her. Suddenly, she sneezes and her glass eye flies out of its socket toward the man. His reflexes kick in and he reaches out, plucks it out of the air, and hands it back to her. The woman is mortified. Oh my, I'm so sorry, she says as she pops her eye back into place. Let me buy your dinner to make it up to you. So, he joins her at her table and they enjoy a wonderful meal together. Afterwards, they go to the theater followed by drinks at a bar. They talk, they laugh, she shares her deepest dreams, and he shares his. After paying for everything, she asks him if he would like to come to her place for a nightcap. He says yes, and they return to her place. He ends up staying the night, and the next morning, she cooks a gourmet meal with all the trimmings. The guy is amazed at how everything has been so perfect and how incredible this woman is. He can't believe his luck. You know, he says, you are the perfect woman. Are you this nice to every guy you meet? No, she replies. Actually, you just happened to catch my eye. Betty was a little old lady who was always cheerful and quite happy with her life. But lately, she had started having a bit of a problem. One day, she goes to the doctor and says, I have this problem with gas, but 
It really doesn't bother me too much. My farts never smell and are always silent. The doctor replies, Is that so? Betty continues, Yes, as a matter of fact, I've farted at least 20 times since I've been here in your office. You didn't know I was farting because they don't smell and are silent. The doctor says, I see. Take these pills and come back to see me next week. Betty goes home and takes her pills as prescribed, and suddenly she starts seeing some big changes in her everyday life. The next week, Betty goes back to the doctor. Doctor, she says, I don't know what the hell you gave me, but now my farts, although still silent, stink terribly. The doctor nods and says, good. Now that we've cleared up your sinuses, let's work on your hearing. <laughs> In a small town, there are two evil brothers. Over the course of many years, they cheated, swindled, robbed, and generally stole from everyone they ever did business with. The entire town and surrounding community despise these two brothers, as everyone is aware of how dishonest they are. One day, one of the brothers mysteriously dies. Although neither of the brothers have ever attended church, the remaining brother offers the local pastor a large sum of money to say some good words at the funeral. He also offers the pastor a huge bonus if, during the eulogy, he refers to his brother as a saint. The pastor is troubled by the request. However, the church is very poor and desperately needed repairs. The parishioners had heard about the pastor's dilemma and are curious as to what he will decide. As the funeral begins, the church is packed with the townspeople. The pastor begins with the usual prayers and traditions required by the church's teachings. In closing, he pauses and turns to face the remaining brother. He begins, As you all know, the departed was an awful individual. He robbed, cheated, swindled, and stole from everyone he did business with. However, compared to his brother, he was a saint. <laughs> a blonde walks into a bank in New York City and asks for the loan officer. She says she's going to Europe on business for two weeks and needs to borrow $5,000. The bank officer says the bank will need some kind of security for the loan, so the blonde hands over the keys to a new Rolls Royce. The car is parked on the street in front of the bank. She has the title, and everything checks out. The bank agrees to accept the car as collateral for the loan. The bank's president and its officers all enjoy a good laugh at the blonde for using a $250,000 Rolls Royce as collateral against a $5,000 loan. An employee of the bank then drives the Rolls into the bank's underground garage and parks it there. Two weeks later, the blonde returns to repay the $5,000 and $15 interest. The loan officer says, Miss, we are very happy to have had your business, and this transaction has worked out very nicely. But we are a little puzzled. We checked you out and found out that you're a multimillionaire. What puzzles us is, why would you bother to borrow $5,000? The blonde replies, Where else in New York City can I park my car for two weeks for only $15 and expect it to be there when I return? Ha 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 ha!